Hello, and welcome to our virtual ceremony for this year's Green Awards. I'm Patrick Schmidt, Editor-in-Chief of The Drinks Business. And while it's sad not to see our winners in person and share some sustainably sourced fizz with our green-minded members of the drinks trade, we won't let this pandemic prevent us from making some major eco-announcements, which I'll do shortly. But just before I do, I want to say thank you to our judges, who are a brilliant collection of industry figures with a keen eye for worthy environment initiatives. And thank you to our sponsors, who are Amarim Cork, Paul Roger Portfolio, Provine, Euroshop, and Energy Storage Europe. Now, as you're doubtless itching to hear the results, I won't delay, but I do want to say that not only did we have more entries this year than ever before, but the standard was very high across the board. It appears that the drinks industry is really taking sustainability seriously. No instances of greenwashing, and the moves made by the trade appear genuinely driven by a concern for the environment, the health of workers, as well as the viability of the drinks industry for the long term. Well done, particularly to our winners, but also anyone who made our shortlist, which in itself is a very impressive feat. With that said, let's begin with our first award, which is for Best Logistics and Supply Chain Green Initiative. The shortlist is Fetzer Vineyards, Hillebrand and One Circle. Now firstly, although not a winner, the judges decided to commend a wine producer for extending its green philosophy along the supply chain. A commendation goes to Fetzer Vineyards. As for our winner, that's a business that connects the needs of the entire supply chain to contribute to a circular economy for plastics. The winner is One Circle, producer of The Key Keg. Now we move on to best green launch of the year and the shortlist is Altia for Krosenkorva Vodka Climate Action, Bruce Jack Wines Limited for Bruce Jack Boxed Chenin Blanc, De Bortoli for 17 Trees, Nooknian Distillery for Nooknian Organic Whiskey. This year there were two launches that seriously impressed our judges and so they decided to award one company in the wine sector and another in spirits. So, the winner for Best Green Wine Launch is a new brand helping to rebuild Australia's bushland. Our winner is De Bortoli for 17 Trees. Now onto our winner for spirits, which is an organic scotch using recycled glass. The Best Green Spirits Launch for 2020 is Nooknean Distillery for Nooknean Organic Whiskey. Next we have our Green Packaging Awards, starting with those for wine, and the shortlist is Accolade Wines, Polpo Loco, Bruce Jack Limited, Garçon Wines, and VSPT Wine Group. With this competitive category, the judges decided to create two winners, one for design and another for innovation. Starting with the former, the judges loved a new wine launch from a Chilean wine group for its striking design, beautiful finish and eco-minded approach. The green packaging design of the year goes to VSPT Wine Group for Believe. As for the other winner, it was decided this year to give the Green Packaging Innovation Award jointly to two companies behind the same novel format. Our winners are Accolade Wines and Garçon Wines for the flat PET wine bottle. Moving on to our packaging awards for spirits, the shortlist is Bush Rum, Ian McLeod Distillers and Irish Distillers. Firstly, gaining a commendation for its eco packaging using recycled glass and sugarcane sourced paper stock is Bush Rum. Then, Gaining the top spot is a distillery taking a novel environmental approach to luxury packaging with a wooden gift box that doubles as a storage cabinet. Our spirits packaging winner is Ian McLeod Distillers. Next we have Organic Initiative of the Year and I'm pleased to introduce a representative from one of our sponsors to award it. So I'm going to hand over to Dr Andreas Merck Executive Team Manager at Energy Storage Europe to present this category. Thank you. Hello. The shortlist for organic initiative of this year is Bonterra, 
Gérard Bertrand, Organic Wine Growers New Zealand, Reinecke Wines. With particular strong interest this year, the judges decided to award a couple of commendations, which we shall announce before revealing the winner. So, firstly, a commendation goes to a fresh take on raising awareness about organic viticulture, and this goes to Organic Wine Growers New Zealand. Then, a second commendation goes to a wine producer for championing biodynamics, that is, Gérard Bertrand. As for our winner, that's a winery employing a touch of much needed humor in the business of organics 2020's best organic initiative, therefore, is Bonterra for Tastes Like Saving the Planet. Thank you. Congratulations. Next, we have our category for renewable energy. And firstly, before we announce our winner, the judges wanted to give a commendation to a winery that's now 97% powered by self-generated renewable energy from solar and storage batteries. So, a commendation goes to Redhead Wine. Now on to our winner, and this year, the award goes to a carbon neutral bottler that runs on 100% renewable energy and saves any excess using heat recovery systems. The winner is Accolade Park. Next we have our category for water management and the shortlist is Destilleria Serrales, Kobe Shushinkan Brewery and Thatcher's Cider. Initially, we wanted to commend a Puerto Rican distillery for its wastewater reclamation system. So, a commendation goes to Destilleria Serrales. As for our winner, that accolade goes to a sake brewery using air bubble technology to halve the amount of water used in the rice washing process. The winner is Kobe Shushinkan Brewery. Now we have our award for Best Green Initiative. For this, initially, we decided to commend a move to remove plastic bottles from the world's oceans, with a goal to take out one billion by 2030. A commendation goes to Justin Moran for The Hidden Sea. As for our winner, that goes to a person who has spearheaded an ambitious, non-profit corporate institution that now comprises hundreds of members committed to mitigating climate change. Our Best Green Initiative Award for 2020 goes to Adrian Bridge for The Porto Protocol. Now I'm delighted to invite Carlos de Jesus to present the Amarim Sustainability Award. Carlos is Marketing and Communications Director at Amarim Cork and he'll be beamed to your inboxes directly from the producer's headquarters in Portugal. We're extremely grateful to Amarim as a long-standing supporter of our Green Awards, as well as supplier of the cork frames for our certificates. So thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Patrick. It's a pleasure to be here, although in this digital form. But um, I wanted to start by um, saying that uh, while acknowledging the different requirements of managing sustainability operations for a single business versus uh, a set of producers, uh, we decided to slice the Amarin Sustainability Awards into parts, with uh, firstly an accolade for an association and secondly uh, a company. So initially we, we have a short list uh, for the Amarin Sustainability Award for an association which comprises the International Wineries for Climate Action, the Wines of Alentejo Sustainability Programme and Wines of Great Britain. Uh, despite the strength of all entries, our, our winner this year goes to a voluntary sustainability initiative with brilliant training workshops high standards and independent auditing, all of which has been aimed at grape and wine producers in Portugal's Alentejo. So the year's winner of the Amarin Sustainability Award for an association is indeed the Wines of Alentejo Sustainability Programme. Well done, uh, parabéns. And um, next we move on to the uh, Amarin Sustainability Award for a company. Uh, the shortlist is Chateau Marie, uh, the Bortoli Wines, Flor de Cana Rum, Ian McLeod Distillers, Susanna Balbo Wines, and Thatcher's uh, Cider. Uh, this year, the judges decided to award two commendations to a pair of very different uh, businesses. Firstly, for its work promoting biodiversity and reducing CO2 emissions, they wanted to give a commendation to a biodynamic French wine producer 
who is Chateau Marie's. And secondly, uh, they chose to reward the cider business for eradicating plastic packaging and investing in renewables. And so a commendation goes to Thatcher's uh, cider. Thank you and congratulations. As for our, our winner, um, that goes to the world's only spirit to hold two top sustainability certifications, carbon neutral and fair trade, having achieved the former in, in May this year. The winner of the Amarin Sustainability Award is Nicaraguan rum producer Flor de Cana. Congratulations, felicitaciones Flor de Cana, muy bien. And we now move on to another award with the support of Amarin Cork, which is the Amarin Biodiversity Award. Uh, introduced uh, just four years ago, it is designed specifically for those businesses working to promote species richness, a key part of any sustainability management strategy. Uh, the shortlist for the 2020s award is uh, Chateau de l'Escarrel, Chateau Lyubé, Irish Distillers, a Left Coast State and Yaelin's Wine Group. Um, this was a hotly contested category, no doubt. Um, so firstly, for its efforts to create a remarkable sustainable vineyard estate, in Provence, the judges awarded a commendation to Chateau Lyubé. Congratulations. And next, uh, for its work fostering Ireland's endangered wildflower species, a commendation goes to Irish distillers. Congratulations. Well done also. Um, and as for this year's winner, uh, the award goes to a wine producer with 100 hectares of organic uh, vines in Provence, 1,000 hectares of woodland, along with apple, olive plantations, and a newly created butterfly garden. It does sound lovely, I must say. And I'm very happy to announce that the winner of the Amarin Biodiversity Award is Chateau de l'Escarrel. Congratulations. Thank you all for your, for your submissions. And, and again, uh, a very, very special thank you for, for the work that all of you um, are doing. And having said that, Patrick, uh, it's back to you. Thank you. Bye. Our next award is for Ethical Company of the Year, and I'm delighted to invite another Green Awards sponsor to present it. So, we'll now welcome Elka Mobius, Director of Euroshop, to present the next set of awards. Thank you, Elka. The shortlist for Ethical Company of the Year is Bosman Family Vineyards, Journeys End, Kobe Zushin Khan Brewery, Santa Rita, and Trivento. In another category cramped with excellent contenders, initially the judges wanted to give accommodation to a Zake brewery for its raft of local ethical initiatives. So accommodation goes to Kobe Zushin Khan Brewery. They also wanted to commend another business, this time a winery for its community crash and adult literacy program. Accommodation goes to Bosman Family Vineyards. As for our winner, our judges were unanimous in their praise for one company's work to tackle worsening hunger and poverty within South Africa. The winner of the Ethical Company of the Year is Journey's End. Next is our award for Green Company of the Year. And I'm pleased to invite Bastian Mingers, Director of Provine, to present it. With Provine once again supporting our Green Awards, Bastian has been beamed directly from Dusseldorf to announce this year's results. Thank you, Bastian. The shortlist for this year's Green Company of the Year is Cape Byron, Conchay Toro, Flora di Cania Rum, Jackson Family Wines, Two Drifters Distillery, Yeelands Wine Group. Firstly, in a category with many first-rate entries, the judges were keen to commend two companies for their strong green credentials. Firstly, for its tree planting and renewable energy generation, a commendation goes to Flora, Flor de Cania. Secondly, for its carbon negative status, among other impressive green achievements, a commendation goes to Two Drifters Distillery. But now for our winner. And this year that glory goes to a true leader in the field. A company that stood out for its level of commitment to reducing emissions, wide scale use of renewable energy, and the way it gives back to the land through regenerative farming. 
our green company of the year for 2020 is Jackson Family Wines. Congratulations to y'all and hope to see you soon again in real life, not only virtual and hopefully at the next Pro Wine Show. Stay healthy, all the best, cheers. Now we come on to Green Retailer of the Year. And this year, we wanted to firstly commend a supermarket for its recent green efforts, such as lightweighting its Prosecco bottles and taking black plastic out of its bag and box. So a commendation goes to Marks and Spencer. As for this year's winner, that goes to a retailer which has gone 100% plastic free and upped its share of organic producers to one third, while over 80% of its suppliers are now certified sustainable. The green retailer of the year is Honest Grapes. Now we move on to our final award, and I'd like to invite James Simpson, MW, Managing Director of Paul Roger Portfolio, which is a sponsor of our Green Awards, to reveal our 2020 Green Personality of the Year. Thank you, James. This year's personality has been selected for his long-term commitment to organic viticulture and his recent effort as, this year, his entire vineyard operation spanning 880 hectares across 16 estates in the Languedoc is now either fully converted to biodynamics or in the conversion process. This development is impressive considering he initially experimented with just four hectares of biodynamic vines at Domaine de Segalas in Corbière in 2002. But it's not only his own estate where he's having a green influence, as he's helping the growers he partners with by giving them technical, economical and commercial support in their quest to adopt organic farming methods. Our personality of the year is French rugby player turned wine grower, Gérard Bertrand. So, well done to our winners and thank you to all our supporters. I'd also like to say thank you to all our team at The Drinks Business for their help running these awards as sustainably as possible. And thank you to all of you for tuning in. I hope you can now raise a glass of something ethically and sustainably sourced and consume it as socially as possible in the current climate. Thank you and cheers.